Aha, here we go. Talk to... Syndra M M M Yeah, whatever. <laughs> We're just about ready to set sail. I don't know about you, but the moonlit is looking a little too close for comfort these days. Okay, um, can you take me somewhere else in Vardenfell? We're headed to Sadrith Mora, if that's where you'd like to go. Just decide quick. I want to sail on the next tide. Okay, well, let's go to uh, Sadrith Mora then. I do have a quest there, so why not? Why not take it on? Okay. I'm glad that this town sprung up around Telenor. I also should. There's someone here to talk to, and then there's a a thing over there, so we'll hit that up too. The isolation of the island had made for many hours of uninterrupted. Ah, it warms my scales to see you once more, my friend. I wish I could thank you for my freedom, but as you can see, it was short lived. I see you still wear no shackles. Will you aid me once more? I know someone who needs help. Okay, go on. In truth, you would be helping many Saxleal, myself included. During my latest escape attempt, I met an amber beauty with eyes like summer rain. Her luchial name is Sun in Shadow, but I call her my heart. She hatches a plan to set us free. So what do you need me to do? Seek her out in Tel Naga. If I know my heart, she will be sunning herself in the light of some book. Always reading that one. Always learning. If all goes to plan, she will read her books beside me in the bows of a hist. Soon, I hope. All right, I'll head over there then. Walk with Sithis, my friend. And mind the Telvani. They spin lies like an elder at the yarn wheel. All right, that's... Good enough for me. Um, what else did I... Oh yeah, let's come over here. We're going to talk to someone else over here, apparently. Let's come over and get this sparkly glowy going. There we go. Oh, dear Tewin, how I long to see you smile. Ah, oh, love, how cruel the fates that keep me from my heart's desire and force me to lock away my true feelings. Chains bind my heart, yet it yearns to beat free. Uh, lovesick, are we? Oh, what does an outlander know about the complexities of Dunmary love? But you're only trying to help, and maybe I do need a simpler perspective. Yeah, and a How an pick in the butt. To convince an overbearing mother that the object of their affection is worthy. Uh, well, you basically say, uh, you don't rule my life, uh, this is my decision, um, uh, you're worth having around for other decisions, but this one is mine, maybe? Something to that effect? Of course not. Tuwin is a slave. My mother's slave. I tried to buy her freedom. The mother laughed at the mere suggestion that I'd be allowed to sully our reputation with a noir bride. Perhaps an outlander's offer wouldn't rouse her suspicion. Um, slow down. I might be willing to help, but I don't know what I, I want to buy a slave. Pay, obviously, it's just that mother might reveal what it would take for her to release Tyrwin if it was anyone but me asking. Knowing that might give me some idea of how to free my love. It couldn't hurt to ask, could it? I could do that much, but won't your mother be suspicious if I ask about Tyrwin? Tell her you've heard Tyrwin excels at finding red star shells. Telvani wizards prize them, and they're very rare. Most of the locals know that Tyrwin is the best at finding them. Mother loves to gloat. All right, I'll speak to your mother about her. I couldn't bear gazing upon Tyrwin since mother rebuked me. But now I can't wait to see her lovely face again. I'll be down at the swamp where she hunts shells. Come find me once you've finished dealing with Mother. She'll be at our tower. Um, okay. See you there then, I guess. So, with that said... What else do we have around here? We got a lot of stuff around here, apparently. Um... Another quest over there... 
Here's the Telnaga. So this is where I gotta talk to Sun and Shadow, and then we got to deliver the rare mushrooms. Right, let's go talk to this person first and see what they want, and then I'll make my way back around to this other to this other one. Mayhaps. So let's head this way. Go for a nice, go for a nice run, as it were. Also, at some point, I'm gonna to need to actually level, level my character up. I keep forgetting to do it. Uh, where is this person at? Lazy vermin! If you want to eat this week, work. Yes, mistress. Well, get to it now. Yes, mistress. Sorry, mistress. Okay. That's a little bit rough and tumble, isn't it? Ferris Given? Pardon the mess. My slaves require another lesson concerning their work ethic. And their no good overseer as well. I suppose I'll have to wield the lash myself today. I heard you have a slave that's particularly good at finding red star shells. Have my friends been gossiping about her again? You'd think there were no better topics of conversation. Yes, Tyrwin is my slave. She's no unshed Nixhound, but she's still a capable harvester. What do you want to know about her? Only her price. I know someone with a talent for collecting red star shells. Well, I need someone who can do that too, and I already have Tyrwin. Seems like you're out of luck. Your friends gossip about more than Tyrwin's talents. We'd both benefit from her departure. Baseless slander. Though I do tire of these ugly rumors surrounding my son. Three red star shells. That's the smallest offer I'll entertain. A bargain. Alright, I'll think over your terms. Okay, so we'll give we'll give that information back to the other guy. Um also Yeah, well let's let's go do this real fast. Since it's on my mind. Oh well wait, he's over he said he would be over at the shore, right? So I have no idea where he's at now. Alright, um, let's let's go and do this then. Talk to Sun and Shadow, that kind of thing. Um, which would be, I guess, there's probably a path up here somewhere, right? Ah, here we go. Right, it's over here. Tell Naga. That's a nice place. And you, Sun and Shadow. Yes. Can I help you, Soryo? Uh, Ioki sent me. Bless his eyes. Yes, I'm Sun and Shadow. Ioki told you I have a plan to earn our freedom, right? It will require finesse and discretion. I trust that I can count on you for both. To earn my freedom, I need the help of Magister Therama. Uh, and who is that? She's a recently elevated Telwani Magister. Not so set in her ways as the others and probably more likely to remember her early struggles. I know she wants something from Zane Terraris. I need to find out what it is, then get it for her. Uh, do you have any idea what she wants? I'm afraid not. I traded in some favors to get a better idea of what she's seeking, but I learned very little. Apparently her mouth, Erevin Anthem, has some correspondence that might give us a clue. I need that letter. <laughs> okay, and then you can earn your freedom? Oh, yes. House Telvani has its warts. But it's a true meritocracy. With enough guile and cunning, even a lowly slave can sit on the council. 
I've studied spellcrafts since before I could lift a broom. All I need now is the sponsorship of a magister. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like being distracted by the in-game chat is just... They've just lost their minds. Um, how do you earn the Magister's approval? The Rana's been haranguing the Council, trying to get their help in claiming Zane Tararas from House Redrin. She wants something in that shrine. I aim to get it for her. Her mouth, Erevan Anthem, has a letter that contains the clues we need. All right, I'll try to get that information for you. Be cautious in the Council House, Sarah. House Tilvani is not just some beast you can slay. In this place, subtlety will serve you better than any shield. We have to play the game. Um, so you've told me how this plan helps you, but how does it uh, help Yoki? Truthfully, it doesn't. Not yet. Telvani plots take time to develop. If I demand Yoki's freedom too early, I show my hand. Suddenly, he's a valuable piece in the game, moved and sacrificed as the Magisters see fit. So you're protecting him by keeping him in chains? Do I sense a rebuke? It's not ideal, I know. Look, I treasure Iyuki. He's placed his trust in me. I hope you'll do the same. All right, fine. I will. I will. Always the one. Always the one to help here. That is. That is yours truly. Um. Is there anything else I need to do in this place? No, I don't think so. That was all I needed to do. Just walk into somebody's house and talk to their servants. <laughs> and then walk right out again. That's certainly no noble would, would bat an eye at that. Um, where is the other? Oh, it's this way. It is uh, this way. Got another prisoner in there who is hacking up a lung. And in here, I guess. Liver rare mushrooms. Okay. This is the council house that she was talking about earlier. So over here we go. It? One more late shipment. Never work in Vardenfell again. I'm terribly sorry, Master. It won't happen again. Ah, another useful idiot approaches. And what trifling matter brings you to me? Oh, uh, you have a voice that sounds rather familiar. I trust you're not here to waste my time. That would end badly for you. You sound. Oh, man. That voice. You sound. I, I don't. I trying to think of the name of the of the actor i can't i can't think of it though so edra i know finally came through did she and she sent you in her place no doubt because she believes i will turn her into a vardvark of such nonsense the things these commoners believe i shall of course dock her payment for the late delivery actually she said i could keep the payment if you're lying you do so remarkably well if you're not it is of no concern to me you will receive the same coinage either way. Take it and be about your business. And tell Edrino that if she fails again, I shall locate another mushroom seller. Very well. Complete the quest. And that concludes my deliveries for today. What an exciting life I lead. <laughs> There's also... What is this back here? Anything else I have to do? There is, in fact, something else I have to do here. Uh, ah, uh, Braylon Naloran. Master Erevan is away on business. Has been for some time, in fact. I know a prowler when I see one. What do you want? I'm just looking around. No one just wanders into a council mouth's office looking around. I should report you. What are you really after? And do be honest, we've already wasted enough time here. I'm looking uh, for a letter. Ah, the one about Zane Tiraris, is it? Well, I could call the guard and be about my day, but I am a Telvani after all. We don't turn away an opportunity when it presents itself. Right. Perhaps you could help me with the <laughs> okay. problem I've run into. Ah, uh, 
Uh, what problem do you have? It's a matter of literature, or lack thereof. I wrote a poem, you see, a cloying, drunken mess of a poem. The post delivered it to my darling Ether and Dora just this morning. If you get it away from her, the letter is yours. All right, fair enough. Where is Ethrandora? She spends most of her time in the study, here in the council hall. She's very diligent, always leaning over one book or another. And the way she licks her thumb when she turns the pages. Sorry, you'll find her in the study. Yes. Yeah, that's great, dude. You, you, you keep those images in your own skull for a little while here. Um, so... I pretty much can figure out why you sent her in a poem in the first place. Um, all, all right. Goodbye. So we'll do that. Uh, that's probably the letter down there, too. I could probably just take it. Uh, let's go here. And talk to... This lady over here. Was it study? She is running around doing things. Meantime, I'll just kind of look around and see if you have stuff in your desk. Steal from. Let's. Fortunately, I can be seen right now. That is a safekeeping doll. No, I don't want that. Don't want that at all. I want this uh, this letter apparently that she has. It's probably this letter, right? Or unless it's on the bookshelf. Uh, no, it's not on the bookshelf. Where, where would they be keeping it? Oh, pickpocket the ode to Etherendor. Ah, okay, that's what it is. I gotta pickpocket it. It was on her, on her person. So, we'll come in here. Go, I got it. Guess I need a tighter purse. I got it. Discerning pilferer, I got for that one. And pocket picker. Okay, so this I gotta take it back to this guy, right? Turn this poem to him. I hope go. Well. Did you get my poem? I have it. Quick, give it here. Phew, what a relief. All right, Fla, I'm going to burn this embarrassment. I sure hope I didn't leave Master Erevan's correspondence box unlocked. That would be careless in the extreme. Farewell. A fair trade, a poem for a letter. Okay. To bad writing. Uh, a raven, the council's dithering on the matter of Zen... Theresis is unacceptable. Kajiti merchants continue to gather outside the ruin like locusts. I have it on good authority that House Rhetorin sent them there. I must admit, I don't think these thick-headed zealots were capable of such a deception. I didn't think. I'm almost impressed. Almost. The hammer on the shrine day and night as if picks and hammers have any hope of disperse dispersing the door's puzzle words. Simpletons. The secret to Sheogorath's riddles lies in their simplicity. Fortunately, Rhetorin scholars possess no capacity for abstract thinking. Can you believe they struggle with a riddle as simple as this? A family of skulls say, how do you do? Two shout, we're one, and three yell, we're two. Five glare at, th at three, as six laugh at four. Just burn them to open the mud prince's door. Honestly, why must the followers of Sheogorath be such children? I suppose that question answers itself. My research nears a critical stage, El Raven. I need a Saint Felm's finger bone, or else, or all will be for naught. Redouble your efforts with uh, your fellow mouths, uh, Zane 
Tyrus must belong to House Talvani. Do not fail me, Thorana. Hmm. Okay. So they're in league with, or they're trying to get stuff from the uh, Sheogorath, who was like a trickster god, if I'm not mistaken. I think that was the trickster god from um, the DLC with uh, uh, Oblivion. Uh, Elder Scrolls 4. Uh, where's the, where's the door out of this place again? 